have just come from Mangalyesh. Come, let us check them out. Come on, children. Let's leave. This place is stinking. Uncle Yesh, it is amazing how a dead body can make the vultures appear. Usually, one can hardly see a vulture around. Uncle Yesh, but how do they know? Where the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. Sure, go ahead. You are right, Joshua. It is a single-line parable of Jesus. But I'm sure it's loaded with meaning. It sure is, Esther. I will explain it to you. But first, I will have to tell you what happened before Jesus told them that parable. Sure, go ahead. Once, Jesus was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God was coming and he answered. The kingdom of God is not coming with things that can be observed. Nor will they say, look, here it is, or there it is, for in fact the kingdom of God is among you. Just as it was in the days of Noah, so too it will be in the days of the Son of Man. The people were eating and drinking, ignoring the word of God. They mocked at Noah as he was building the ark. They called him a fool, but when the flood came, Noah entered the ark and the water destroyed all of them. Huh? Those who try to make their life secure will lose it, but those who lose their life will keep it. I tell you, on that night there will be two in one bed. One will be taken and the other left. There will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken and the other left. Where, Lord? Where the corpse is. There the vultures will gather. What does Jesus mean, Uncle Yesh? Puzzling, is it? Well, this single line of Jesus has puzzled so many down the ages. So don't worry. What is your understanding of it, Uncle Yesh? Well, before I tell you that, let me ask you a few questions. Can a dead man defend himself when people attack him, either physically or verbally? Can he respond? Of course not, Uncle. I believe that we are spiritually dead when we don't have the word of God in our hearts. As Proverbs 4.22 tells us, the word of God brings life to those who find it. So true. Yes, Uncle Yesh. Once even my parents were fooled by a couple who visited our place and started quoting scriptures. It is only later that we realized that they were false prophets who were feeding on our own ignorance of the word of God. If you had met Uncle Yesh earlier, you would have cut their false messages with the double-edged sword you carry now. What sword does he have, Esther? Huh? Sorry, John. Esther is referring to the word of God, which is referred to as a double-edged sword in Hebrews 4.12. Okay, now I understand what happens when you don't know the word of God. Vultures like these people prey on them. As Jesus says in the Gospel of John, the words that I speak to you, our spirit and they are life let us ask the holy spirit to fill us with his wisdom and knowledge so that we will learn the word of god and use them for his glory